Hello, I'm Zardus, and let's play City Skylines 2. Today, I'm going to show you how to build a cargo train route. So what we want to do is, I'm not going to make it look pretty, because I, I mean, we're just doing a tutorial, so that's why. We don't have trains unlocked. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get trains unlocked. So you get them at Milestone 4. You get to go to that transportation development tree that gets added at, uh, what did I just say? Grand Village. Yeah, Grand Village. So then you can come in and you can spend one development point on trains. So we'll do that. And now we have trains unlocked. So we can come in here and we can do a few things. We can't quite build the cargo train terminal yet because we don't have a rail yard. You need a rail yard in order to be able to have trains. That is where the trains spawn from. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a rail yard out here. We're going to buy a couple of tiles so that we have a little bit more space there. And we are going to go and build our rail yard. Now you can see that it is a pretty big thing. And as you need more trains, you're going to end up having to expand it further. So we're just going to go ahead. And I think what I'll do is I'll actually put it this way. And most rail yards are actually designed this way so that the trains can go right through pretty easily. We're not doing it realistic because again, I'm not doing it super, uh, pretty that's the word i'm looking for i'm doing it so that i can show you how to do it and you can learn what it takes to do this we want to get our rail to go underneath there so we're connected in that direction and we're going to connect in this direction too and then we just want to connect all of these lines as well just do the two-way train track and just kind of bring them in here curve too tight blah 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 yeah i know Get one going this way. I mean, you can do it so that it looks better. There's many different ways of doing this. I'm just, again, connecting it so that it functions and we can move on to the next part of this. Okay, everything is connected. That's all that matters. And then we want to get a road here. So we want to build a road right in front of it. And then we'll just connect to the road network. So now these should go away. It should have water and sewage and power. Very good. And what we want to do now, we can click on it and you can see you can upgrade to add extra traps. You can just do that one time and then you have to go in and connect those. You can also add a maintenance hall that makes the train maintenance a little bit better. We'll go ahead and do that as well. And then what you want to do to create a line is you want to come over and you need to create then a cargo train terminal. We're going to set that up over here. We'll build that. Let's see, we've got farms over there. So we'll just put it right over here. And in fact, we'll just get it like this. Just build that there. And then we're going to build a train track connecting to it. But that is a little bit of a problem because you see the train track only comes out on one side of the station. That is a little bit of a problem. And we can upgrade this to add another track, but that still only comes out on the other side. It doesn't go that way. We can also add a storage warehouse that will increase the storage. You can add multiple of those as well, by the way. But uh, what we want to do then is we're going to bring a train track this way. Because why not? and then get this connected as well. Just do that and then we can bring our track over here and you just wanna make sure that you connect to the yard. And there, that will connect to the yard and the train station of course needs to connect to the outside rail as well. And I think this is probably gonna to be too tight. Oh, but that worked. Okay, so then that will work. Then we can do a cargo railway route. You want to come in and we will click on the train station and then we want to go over to our external connection, which is way over here. And we want to click on the rail like that to add the connection there. And then we're going to come back and click in the same spot we started at to complete the line. And then we'll get another one going the other direction over to the other external connection and then coming back here. And then if you have other train stations inside your city, you can have lines connecting to just those. So 
If you remember City Skylines 1 and how the trains worked there, we have much more um, ability to control our trains in this one. So that is the thing. Now, we have no vehicles available. Why do we have no vehicles available? We have two there. They should be coming. I'm not sure why it is saying no vehicles available, because it should be connecting. We're connected to this. Uh, 13 vehicles in maintenance. That's part of it. Now only 12. There we go. Now they're coming out. But so, as they're being maintained, they will come out and stuff like that then you can go down here to the bottom right transportation overview and you can go to trains and see details of how your routes are doing you could click on route details and you can adjust how many trains are in that route and you could change the schedule you could change the color of the line you have a lot of options there but that is the basics of how to set up a cargo rail uh, line I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, be sure to click on the video on the screen now. It will take you to a beginner's guide. Let's play where I take you through step by step how to build a city. And I don't have a cold in those videos so far, so I don't sound quite as bad. But thanks for watching and I will catch you next time. Take care.